So today we are progressing ahead. So this part we have discussed, right? The S4 HANA and TM integration part we have discussed. So I would be going ahead with this part again, and we'll be seeing this in system. And you can, if you require, you can also create your own control keys. So let's see that what is there into the control keys. So I'm jumping into the system. Somebody is saying that they are not able to access the Fiori. Fiori access is same and very simple. You need to go here. You will be having a Fiori launchpad. Double click on it. Put user ID and password and log into Fiori. So going into SPRO, SAP Reference IMG. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Then we'll go into the TM configurations. My screen got stuck. Just give me a minute. Yeah. Transport management. Under that, we'll be going into. I'm clicking somewhere, it's clicking somewhere else transport management under that we'll be going into the integrations under the integrations we are have we are having here uh, logistics integration and internal tm component integration so this is the part we are going through the same screenshot i have shown you last time because in the last session the uh, system was not working right so this is the first thing we are having define control keys for the document integration now, these control keys are the standard control keys which you will see in the system. Okay, so when you, will have, when you are having a SAP system, these are the standard control keys you would be having. But if required, you would be able to create your own control keys. Your own control keys also, you would be able to create it. Now, what this control key will do, this control key will be setting it up your integration. That what is the integration point? Do you want to integrate? Do you? We discuss about, right? There is high level, there can be two integration for the outbound scenario. Or for inbound scenario also, there can be two kind of integration. First integration can be through the sales order, you can integrate with the TM, right? As soon as you have created a sales order, uh, that will be, uh, that will send to the TM, TM will start working on it and they will cre create a freight units based on that. Second integration can be the outbound delivery integration, where basically you have uh, integrated with the outbound delivery. Okay, you have uh, created a sales order, but sales order after sales order creation, you created outbound delivery, and then outbound delivery reach out to the TM. So that tick which you will be mentioning it here, based on that system would be triggering whether SO with the SO creation system need to go ahead, or with the T with the delivery creation system need to go ahead. So uh, we have used uh, 53, earlier we have used 53 when we were doing our first scenario, we created our outbound delivery with, uh, uh, we, we created our freight unit, freight order with respect to the outbound delivery. So our freight units get generated with the outbound delivery. If you want to get, uh, use the sales order, so you can use 63, that is standard, or you can also copy this one and you can create your own also, okay? You can also uh, use the 63 if you require. So that is the control key would be there. Okay, so you, we can use earlier, we have used 53. Now you will be able to use 63. Now the assignment of this 53 or assignment of 63, you need to do it. Where the assignment would be happening, that we'll discuss. Before going to the assignment, so there is what you need to do. So if I go the, um, assign, uh, Define transportation relevancy for the delivery documents. That is the place we have discussed that your combination, your shipping point, delivery type, shipping condi condition, you would be defining which control key and which logistic integration profile we need to use it. Which control key and which logistics integration profile we need to use it. Now, control key we have discussed. So we will be discussing the logistics integration profile and then we'll coming back here that we need to do the assignments for your configuration, which you have done, right? So these are two assignments are there. Actually, there are the three assignments are there. You can do for the delivery document for outbound and inbound delivery. This is the one you need to configure for your purchase order. If you want to plan for the inbound ones, our scenario focus right now is the outbound ones. But if you want to plan it for inbound ones, 
the purchase order with purchase order you want to get a created your freight units then we need to use this one or if you want to do with the sales order one that when we'll be creating a sales order at that time your freight units would be generated then we need to use this one but in all three we need to assign either control key or we need to assign <coughs> logistics integration profile so let me quickly show you the uh, logistics integration profile I have a one question through from Bharat. What is the question? Why not uh, 51 for SO? 51, what is 51? 51, 51 also you can use it for SO. If you will be using a 51, you would be uh, integrating directly with the sales order, okay? With 51, you will be integrating directly with the sales order. So either it is 51 or it is 53. That is the two we recommend. Either you can use 51 or you can use 53. Okay, 53, as soon as you will create a sales order, you will see within the sales order, you will see the TM status tab coming. We'll, uh, earlier we have done with delivery, right? Today I will show you that one scenario. Quickly, we'll create a sales order and we see that how in the sales order, the TM status tab will come. That will depend on the control key. So control key and the logistics integration profile. These two things need to be, these two things need to be uh, created first and that would be assigned to our different combinations. So I'll just give you a screenshot of this one. Not this one, below one, above the external ones. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. So now creating a control key is not mandatory. You can proceed ahead without creating a control key. If you want to experience yourself, you can create a new control key, but make a note. Okay, everybody make a note. Whatever the control key has been created, you are not authorized to do any changes there. Means the authorization you have, but you are not supposed to do any changes there. If we find any standard settings has been changed by any one of you, we'll immediate block the access, okay? So these are the control keys. You can use that as it is. If you want to do some tick changes and you want to do some uh, uh, play around with it, if I tick this, if I tick that, what happens, what, what does not happen, we appreciate it a lot. You should do it. That will give you a lot of knowledge, but create your own control key and then play around with it. Okay, don't disturb the existing control keys which other people has created. Now we'll go into the logistics integration profile. Okay, so let's see what is there into the logistics integration profile. Krish is asking if some control key we have both sales order and deliveries are activated. How does the system behave uh, when the freight units would be created based on sales order or delivery? If you have taken both sales order and delivery, as soon as you create a sales order, system would be creating a freight unit, okay? So you will, will also see we have a two integration ahead. We have, we can do based on the sales order based integration and based on the uh, delivery based integration. If you have done both sales order based integration also you have defined and delivery based integration also you have defined for a particular combination, system will always give preference to the sales order. And whatever the delivery based integration you have defined, system will ignore it. If higher level it is integrated, sales order is get integrated, your delivery will automatically get integrated, okay? From sales order, a freight unit would be generated. And when you will create a delivery, if you create a multiple freight units, again, the, the sales order freight unit would be splitted and would be assigned to your delivery freight units, okay? So that is going to happen. So if you have, if you have combination which you have maintained, where both can be there from the configuration wise, Sales order integration can also be there. Delivery integration always be, also be there. Make a note that sales order integration would be having a preference. Sales order integration system will look and your delivery integration configuration system will ignore. 